All right, it's time to change the trading desk once again. So this time we're going back to horizontal. So right now I'm using the ASUS Pro Art, and these are 27 inches. And by the way, I'll link all the tools in the description. It's gonna be way easier to follow along. So if you're wondering what is something, it's gonna be down there. So these monitors are 2K resolution and the resolution, I think it's probably the best one for day trading, uh, just because the font is not too small or it's not too big. So it gives you enough space to put everything on one screen or multiple, of course. So when I actually look at this screen, something that's really annoying is that if you put both charts equal, they are like very, very small. I don't know if it's able to see, but it's like the distance of like one end and it makes it quite annoying. And something else, when you're trying to record your screen for OBS, everything comes out vertical. So you have to go into software and try to edit it from there, which takes too much time. And it made me realize that I just don't do it when it's about doing that. The last thing was if you're doing a Zoom meeting with someone or you're reviewing trade and both of you guys are remote, it makes it almost almost impossible to share your screen on Zoom or Teams or even Discord. So this becomes a problem because every time that it's time for reviewing, I have to go get my laptop. Every time that it's time to just do a Zoom, I have to go get a second computer. Then I have to send my charts over and it just creates so much extra work that even if I think the screens vertical are pretty good for day trading, it makes everything else around a pain in the ass. And that's why we are going back to horizontal. So that wasn't bad. I took out all the screen and also I forgot to say, it, but um, if your graphic card doesn't have enough space for four monitor, there's some adapter that you can get that works really well. And I tried it at my other desk computer when I had the office which was working really perfectly. So I'll link it down in the description. That's gonna be helpful for you guys. So something that's important about these things is that you don't mount them too hard at first because you're gonna have to really like move them around to make sure your screens work perfectly and like they fit right. So right now we're just gonna mount them like pretty easily and then after that I'll do all the adjustment to make sure the, fit, the screen fits uh, perfectly. So uh, at this point, maybe measuring would have been a good thing, but uh, we're gonna keep going like this and hopefully it works all out at the end and everything is centered, you know? That's the hope. That's one dumb thing that I just did is put this one right here before the other one. So now I have to go over with the screen. So it's gonna be perfect. All right, so now it's just a question of putting them properly because they're all like, you know, if you guys go on this side, you guys are gonna see what I mean. It's just uh, all the angles are all messed up. This one is actually on top of the bottom one. Uh, so we'll have to just fix that and um, hopefully everything's gonna be fine. That's the classic nightmare. You guys can see now everything is horizontal and vertical. So we're gonna just fix that first and uh, after that, it should be fine. All right, so do I like this setup so far? And I think I do, but I'm gonna definitely have to try it um, for a couple of weeks to really see, you know, is it better than the other one? But there's something right away that I really like is the fact that I can extend the chart, like make them longer instead of having micro time frame. I feel like it's a bit better um, overall. And it just feels like there's more space on the screen for whatever reason, which is pretty cool. Hopefully this makes sense to you. So everything's gonna be linked down in the description. Don't forget to check it out and thanks for watching. Peace.